champion. What you have, they want. What you hold, they desire. And when they come for it, you must defend what's yours. This! This is what a superstar looks like. This is how a superstar speaks, and I get all the credentials in the world to back it up. Para respetar a la muñeca, el campeonato, y a mí. Only a matter of time before our prophecy comes true. The Undisputed Era will run all of WWE, and there's not a single person on the planet that's going to stop. You haven't beaten. AJ Styles. I'm the best WWE champion the WWE Universe has ever seen. That's why I am the guy. That's why I run this yard. And if you ever want to be on my level, son, you better learn to step up. You, of all people, you waltz down here and use the same pathetic excuse that every other single person before you has done. You, with all your gifts and all your opportunities, you have the gall to blame me. Especially after something like that, I've gained respect for him. And I think he's gained respect for me. But here's what I'm going I'm going to sacrifice my body, my livelihood to walk out of this town. And even if I have to stomp out the heart. You won't have your hand raised, and you won't be laughing at the dream. The thing that'll be on your mind, the only thing that'll be on their mind. There's, there's no need for name calling, but it's fine. Mistakes happen. You should know. You've made mistakes, and plenty of people have forgiven you. But just as I told my fireflies last week, friends forgive, but he. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the city of brotherly love. I'm Kevin Ion, and we are live here in Philadelphia in the Lincoln Field Financial Field, home of the Eagles. And ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to get things underway. Like I said, I'm been Kevin Ion, and here tonight, class of champions, we have a stacked card ahead of you tonight. Roman Reigns will be taking on Otis. We have Biggie Langston taking on Keith Lee. We have Cedric Alexander taking on Tyler Breeze for the Intercontinental Championship. We have Drew McIntyre getting his hands on John Cena. We have Velveteen Dream taking on The Fiend. And in our main event, we have Adam Cole versus Andrade Cien Elmas versus AJ Styles for the World's Heavyweight Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, you can see the graphics right there. This match was made official after the last installment of In Your House when Roman Reigns attacked Otis after a hellacious match against that man, Keith Lee. And if I can tell you what a phenomenal match those two put on, you would not understand how great it was. But this match right here on your screen, Biggie Langston, Keith Lee, this match is a match of two hosses. This match is going to be the match, in my words, that will take the crown of match of the night. But ladies and gentlemen, you want to talk about tonight. You have to talk about Drew McIntyre versus John Cena. These two men will be going one-on-one. -on -one and ladies and gentlemen, it has combustible written all over it, as Merce YT would say. But ladies and gentlemen, you look at those two. You look at two of the best talents in this company. Drew McIntyre wants to be the chosen one. And he wants to leave an impact. But talking about leaving an impact, we have Cedric Alexander. And what an impact this man has been making as of late. And he caught the eye of this man right here, Tyler Breeze. 
and Tyler Breeze on the last installment of In Your House told Cedric Alexander that he would give him one more shot at the Intercontinental Championship since their match was broken up between that masked man who we still do not know who it is and why they have gripe with those two. But ladies and gentlemen, talking about gripe, we have Velveteen Dream and Bray Wyatt in a Firefly Funhouse match. And ladies and gentlemen, what a match that is going to be. And we actually have do not have commentary for that match. I will not be in the booth as it is not here in this arena. But ladies and gentlemen, talking about matches that is going to happen in this arena, we have our main event of the evening. And Adam Cole will be taking on Andrade Cien Almas. And they will be taking on AJ Styles for the World's Heavyweight Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, that match is going to be match of the century. And you got to ask yourself, what is it going to take to put either one of those men away? But ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show on the road. And ladies, wait, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting the message from backstage. We're going to go back to Ric Flair. And ladies and gentlemen, let's see what Ric Flair has to say. Oh, what a bombshell there from Ric Flair saying that he wants all four of those men to be escorted out of the building here tonight to make sure that our main event is just the three of those men. And ladies and gentlemen, that is huge news. But what is even bigger is this man right here, Mr. Steakbody himself, Big Bad Otis. And ladies and gentlemen, Otis Dozovich, now going by just Otis, is here to make an impact in, in your house. And ladies and gentlemen, what an impact this boy made when he went one-on-one -on -one with Keith Lee. And those two men took each other to the limit. But when it came down to it, once Keith Lee hit him with the Big Bang Catastrophe, it was all she wrote. And if he can hit that Big Bang Catastrophe later on here tonight, against Biggie Langston, you gotta ask yourself, is Keith Lee in huge title contention? But ladies and gentlemen, we gotta talk about this man right here. The man that says that he continues to get disrespected. And you can just hear the boos coming in from the fans of the brotherly love. The city of brotherly love do not love Roman Reigns one bit here tonight. Philadelphia letting Roman Reigns hear it. And you get to see that Roman Reigns does not care. Roman Reigns could care less about the city of brotherly love. Roman Reigns can care about less about the Philadelphia Eagles. Roman Reigns only cares about Roman Reigns. And you hear the fans here in Philly letting him have it telling him that he sucks and ladies and gentlemen this is the man that this is the man that broke into this company on day one and just attacked Matt Riddle and then just brutally attacked Matt Riddle again and then took Matt Riddle to his limit to the point where Matt Riddle is in hospital right now and Roman Reigns does not care one bit Roman Reigns just continuing to show his dominance here and in your house and just look at this man. The disrespect of Roman Reigns in the Roman Empire and just look at him. The smug look that he has. And if you could listen closely, the fans here in, in Philly are letting him have it. And just look at Roman. Roman is just slowly, methodically, and you think about this, this is smart. He's not wasting any energy He's just slowly making his way down to the ring, gingerly making his way to the ring, and not letting the fans get in his head. And that is what it's all about. That is what it's all about, is getting it done in the ring. And honestly, I can't hate Roman Reigns for that. I can't hate, I hate the guy that Roman Reigns is, but I can't hate what he does in the ring because he's phenomenal talent. And just look at that beautiful uppercut once again. 
and oh, Otis I think has had enough. Otis has had enough, picks him up and then dropped him down with that scoop slam. Beautiful maneuver by Otis there. And I've talked about it not looking pretty, but being effective just like that maneuver. You gotta think about all the weight crashing down on the ribs and the, sh oh, oh wait, 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 oh, and the shoulders. And you look at right there, as you saw, Roman shifted the weight to land on to Otis's back, and that is smart. You're allowing your weight and gravity to do most of the work and making sure that you do not waste any momentum. And wait a minute, what is this? What? A oh my goodness, Roman Reigns. That dirty dog, Roman Reigns, just struck him from the back of the head. And ladies and gentlemen, if we were in the UFC, that would, ooh, or any boxing match, that would be called right there as a penalty but here in the WWE, here and in your house, that is, you're just using every ounce of momentum and oh, talking about momentum. What was that by Otis? That was like a tribute to the Stinger, but with a little bit of modification by Otis. And now Otis dropping him right on the knee. And this is where Otis starts to get in. This is where Otis starts to do his work. And this is why Otis, honestly, in my prediction, Otis is going to be a, ma a big town player come in the future. But right here, Otis first has to go through this man. Otis has to go through Roman Reigns. And this, oh, look at Reigns. Oh, Roman Reigns is taking it to Otis. And do I blame Reigns? I don't. Because Roman Reigns knows that this is his opportunity. If he could take down Otis, he can take down anybody because just look at the, oh my goodness, the strength of Roman Reigns there. Picking up Otis and dropping him down with the grace of ease. Two and no, only able to get a two. Not able to put him down just yet, but Roman Reigns knows it's going to take a lot more than that to take down this big hoss. Roman sends him off the rope, but look at that. Otis able to dodge the kick there, and now Otis is taking it to Roman. Otis is taking it to Roman. And like I said before, Otis is one of the next big things, and that is no pun included there. And wait a minute, Otis picks him up again. Ooh, just to drop him on. And if you notice, he doesn't drop him straight on the knee. He drops him on the thigh, which hurts even more because that's more, more width going onto your back when you're a big man like Otis. And wait a minute, belly to belly. He's going to throw him outside the ring, but no. Roman Reigns saw the ring positioning there. And that is, oh! And that is the ring awareness of a member of a great family dynasty, which Roman Reigns is a part of in the Hawaii family. Roman Reigns! Beautiful Superman punch, and it's over. One, two, you can count to three. No! Roman Reigns not going not able to put him away just yet with that Superman punch and all oh, he could be looking for the spear here Roman Reigns could be looking for the spear And oh look at this Roman Reigns Stalking him Roman Reigns watching him Roman Reigns. Oh, I think he didn't see if there was, there was not enough room there for the spear So he had to modify it into that shoulder check but still that is a big man doing a shoulder check to you. Roman Reigns is a former NFL player and oh! Just drops him on his back there. And ladies and gentlemen, the closer you're to the, the ends of the, the mat, the harder it is. Because if you think about it, you have, you have to hold the frame of all this weight. So the closer you are to the edges of the mat, the more it's going to hurt your back. And just look at this, Otis just swinging away. And oh, look at this again. Oh, oh my goodness. Otis with these clubbing blows. And Jessica Carter and Otis is back away. And look at this, Otis. Otis knows he only has the five count. So Otis is using it to his advantage here. And you can't blame the man. But now, oh, Otis looks like he's ready to go. Oh, Otis. Big boy Otis is looking for the end right here. But oh, look at this, Roman Reigns gets out of the way. And a beautiful side rush and leg sweep there. That was by big boy, Roman Reigns. 
And oh, look at this. Now the big dog taking it to Otis here with those close fists. And Jessica Carr has to watch them closely. He, she has to watch where they connect to make sure that, oh, Otis is still able to co continue to compete here. And just look at the strength, able to pick Otis off of his feet, drops him down. And not many men can do that to Otis, but that just shows you the strength, the wherewithal that Roman Reigns has and how he's able to shift the weight of his competitors to drop him down. But if you're able to drop someone down with a punch like that, Otis might be taking away the victory here tonight. Otis looking for something here. Sends him into that corner again. He'll be looking for that stinger splash, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Roman, you're in the drop zone for the cattle pillar. Boom, baby. And Otis drops him down. And Otis is looking for the world's strongest. No, not able to con connect with it just yet. And oh, Roman Reigns with just a huge punch right to the face. And this is where Roman, he needs to find that next gear. Roman needs to find that way to put this man away. And wait, what is Roman doing? Roman backing up, and this is something that this is something we don't really see in an oh my goodness! Just charged at him with that running drop kick, and ladies and gentlemen, Otis might be out. Otis might be out, and you can see he's stumbling to his feet. And I don't think this is good for Ro for Otis. I don't think this is good for Otis. Otis is a deer in the headlights and Roman knows. Roman Reigns knows that Otis is not all there anymore. Roman Reigns looking for the spear. And all these fans know it and oh my God, Roman Reigns just picks up all this. Come on, no, 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 wait, what is it? That's the rock bottom. Sends a message oh, to his fellow Hawaii brethren. And now just stuffs him with that power bomb. One, two, three. Hits him with the last right after he hit him with the rock bottom. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what did we just witness there? What did we just witness? Roman Reigns just used the rock bottom and then hit him with the last rights. And if that's not disrespectful, I don't know what is. But ladies and gentlemen, what a match that was. And we have we have to go. We have to go backstage. I'm hearing as our core respondent, Aaron Blake just caught up with Daniel Bryan as Daniel Bryan just entered the building and ladies and gentlemen I'm getting word that Daniel Bryan has now been entered into the battle for the throne tournament and ladies and gentlemen Aaron Blake wants to get his his words but he keeps trying to shoot Aaron Blake away but ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go ahead and go backstage to Aaron Blake and Daniel Bryan
Daniel Bryan being disrespectful as always right there to Aaron Blake. And ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Bryan has a meeting with Ric Flair. And that sounds like Eric Young. And again, he's talking about some darkness is approaching, some darkness is coming. The end is here. And ladies and gentlemen, who is this man talking about? And honestly, I agree with Brian. If Ric Flair can't do anything about this man, hollering and screaming backstage at the end times is coming. And I honestly think that they need to do something about that man. But talking about doing something, this man right here did something in order to save his best friend in the whole world, Ricochet. As Keith Lee went out there and saved Ricochet, who was being attacked by Biggie Langston after the matchup when Biggie put him into that Langston lock. And ladies and gentlemen, Ricochet has to wear a knee brace now because of that. Ricochet is forced to wear a knee brace in order to keep that knee in the place because of the amount of the longevity of that knee is no longer secure. As Biggie Langston pulled and pulled on that knee tendon in that Langston lock. And this man, Keith Lee, knows, he knows that it is Langston's fault that the, the career of Ricochet might have been shortened. Because that man, Biggie Langston, wanted to send a statement. And he sent a statement at the, the demise of Keith Lee's best friend, Ricochet. So Rick, Ricochet not being able to come out here and accompany Lee for this fight as he is backstage trying to recover. And this man right here coming out to the ring, Big E Langston is wearing a singlet as we saw him before only be wearing trunks, but I think Big E Langston has finally had enough. I think Big E Langston is finally going back to that old school style. Going back to those weightlifting days as Big E Langston knows that this opportunity doesn't come all the time. That this opportunity is not once in a lifetime. That this opportunity is an opportunity you see and you take it. As Big E Langston knows that if he is able to defeat Keith Lee here, he is able to shut up all the people that don't think that Big E Langston is a big time player. To show everybody that Biggie Langston deserves to be in the main event spotlight. To show everybody that Biggie Langston is the future. That Biggie Langston is going to be world's heavyweight champion one day. And honestly, I believe it. I believe in Langston. Because Langston has what it takes and just look at him. Langston is prepping his arms up. He knows that this is going to be a hoss battle. And again... The fans here in Philly letting them know. And oh, look at this. The two behemoths staring it down. And this is what it's all about right here. And oh, look at, look at this. Keith Lee pushing Biggie Langston into the corner there. And oh, look at this. Has to break it up and lead to him that he's not strong enough. He's not going to be strong enough, but look at this. Now Langston pushes Lee to the, to the corner. And this is just a test of strength. You really do not see other men do something like this and all. This is just mind games between these two. And it all gets back into it one more time. Who's going to get the better of it? And it is Langston. And this is just, oh, what a shot back to the back, to the kidneys there. And oh, but this is, look, this is where Lee needs to, oh, just like I was about to say, Lee needs to find a way to get out of that. And oh, and Lee just sending him back. And oh, but look at this, Langston. He's a big man. This is slowing down the pace. And this is, I think, what Langston needs. He knows that Lee loves to get the, the match into that very fast-paced tempo for a big guy. And Langston likes to slowly, methodically take it to his opponent and to look at these two. And look at this. Lee, I think, is trying to get in the head of Langston here. And oh, look at that. If oh, eyes were daggers, they would be stabbing. And oh, my goodness. 
Point fired at, ooh, I think he was gonna go for a scoop slam, but no, Langston, not able to get Lee off of his feet, but was able to get him there. And now, oh, Lee. And these are just a back and forth between these two. And, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. And this, oh my goodness. Just jumped off his feet. And this is what I mean. This is what Lee brings to the table. This is something you don't see many big men do. But Lee and Langston are gonna throw everything on the line here tonight. Oh my goodness, what a chop. And another one. Oh, and an open palm. And again. And then one more. And oh, oh my goodness. He caused those chops a grizzly magnums. And my goodness. Those are some grizzly chops. And now Biggie Langston hits him with a headbutt. And there's nothing pretty about that, but effective. As we talked about the Hawaii family earlier, now we gotta talk about the Langston legacy that this man wants to leave behind. One, two, no, just a one, almost a two there. A little too early to put him away, but Big E Langston knows that he needs to do everything and anything to put away Keith Lee. Because if you give Keith Lee time, Keith Lee is just going to power you down like that. And this man, Keith Lee, knows, oh my god, he could be looking for Spirit Bomb. He could be looking for the Spirit Bomb, but no. I think Lee was looking for the Spirit Bomb there. But Langston said, no son, not yet. And oh, going to town is Langston now. And oh, right to the gut. And like I said, Langston likes a slow, methodical pace. Langston is that typical big guy, but yet knows how to use it effectively. And oh, look at Langston just staring down Lee, but wait a minute, Lee. Oh my goodness. What a clothesline that was from Lee there. And now look at Lee go at Langston. And now Langston on the, on the mat there as Lee is in charge and all could be looking for the Spirit Bomb. And again, Langston able to get out of the way. And again, Langston not giving up. And just look at the, oh my God, those are the knuckles right into the temple there. It doesn't look pretty, but it's very effective. If you got big hands and all that weight to go into them, like Langston. And now look at this, Langston telling Lee to get to his feet. Just mocking Lee there was Langston and Lyle. Langston going to town with these punches and you can just see them one after another right into the gut and wait a minute, what is this? And oh, I think it was just gonna toss him and oh, oh, another Grizzly Magnum and another one. And oh, what is Lee looking for here? Picks up. Langston and just drops him right onto the ropes there. And ladies and gentlemen, when we say ropes, those are just cables with tape over them. Those ropes do not have any give whatsoever. Now Lee has him up and oh, drops Langston right on the knee there. And that was on the actual knee, unlike we saw Otis Dozovich use earlier. He actually dropped him straight onto the knee and now look at this, Lee going for something, but Langston out of the way. And oh my goodness, look at that strength right there by Biggie Langston. And now Lee, Lee runs straight at Langston. Lee, oh my goodness. What a belly to belly that was by Big E Langston. And now look at Big B double G. And oh my goodness, Biggie Langston. That's something you don't really see from Langston all that often. But Langston knew he was going to have to use the middle rope in order to take it to the bigger man. Although Langston hat may have the strength advantage. Oh my goodness, Lee has the height advantage. And that is saying something because Biggie Langston is not a tall guy. And neither is Keith Lee. But when it gets down to it, these two men. No, oh, what is this? Oh, these two behemoths are amazing in that ring. And 
Ladies and gentlemen, just look at Lee. Lee just taking some blows. And as you saw, Jessica Carr not going to call it here. Jessica Carr is going to let them go at it. Ooh, a grizzly magnum of his own. And another one. No, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Biggie Langston could be looking for that power bomb of his own, but no. Not able to hit him with it just yet. But now look at Lee. Keith Lee sends Langston right into the corner there. Langston's in trouble. When we see this from Lee. Oh my goodness, wait a minute, wait a minute. Off the ropes, and oh my goodness, turning the big E Langston inside out there. Turned him inside out with the pounce and his, ladies and gentlemen, and is this all it? One, two, and th no, just a two. Big E Langston able to get the shoulder up, but you gotta ask yourself, what does that mean for Keith Lee? What does that mean for Biggie Langston? What are the limits that they're gonna have to take each other to? And oh, what a stiff clothesline. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Lee getting up to his feet, but wait a minute. Lee Langston, oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith Lee gets speared off of the apron and now has him up, has him up, up and down with the power bomb. One, two, no. Lee kicks out once again and Biggie Langston can't believe it. He just speared the man off the apron into the barricade and hit him with the power bomb and still Lee kicked out. Still Lee kicked out. You know, going for another one, going for another, but no. Keith Lee gets out of the way. And oh my goodness, what a headbutt that was. And now look at Lee. Look at Lee. No, Langston. Knew the ropes were there. Langston saw that the ropes were there. And I think Lee was looking for the Big Bang Catastrophe. Or he could have been looking for the Spirit Bomb. But he's looking for a high fly maneuver right there with that huge clothesline to the outside. Keith Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Keith Lee. And all oh, picks up Biggie Langston here. As Langston, and what is he gonna do? Just drops him down onto the bear, the side of the. I think that's the LED screen right there. And now look at this, Biggie Langston just sends oh, right into that barricade. And wait a minute, wait a minute, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness. And oh no, no, no. Oh my goodness, right off of the LED screen of the the post. And you gotta ask yourself, those edges are really sharp. He has to watch out. And Jessica Carr, look at this, doesn't want this match to end in double count out here. So she's trying to slow down the count, allowing these two men to get back in the ring. As she knows that this match is very important to the both of them. And just look at that. Lee gets Langston back into the ring here. And this is what this is what Langston needs to do to continue. Um, this is, sorry, this is what Lee needs to do in order to keep Langston down. He needs to bring the fight to Langston. He needs to bring everything he can to put down Biggie Langston here. And now look at this, he has him. And it looks like the elbow right into the throat there, trying to choke out Biggie Langston. But Langston, not giving up. Langston, look at the strength of Langston. And a big kick right to the gut. And oh, another grizzly magnum of his own, and again. And another one. And you can just, oh. And look at this, Lee, oh. Langston told him to bring it. So Lee brought it, and oh my goodness. And these two are just exchanging chops. These two are exchanging chops one after another. And oh, Langston's found himself. Langston's found himself in territory he doesn't want to be in. Langston, wait a minute, Lee has a man, oh my god, just drops him down, and ladies and gentlemen, is that it, 
One, two, no, not enough yet. And again, Langston not going down without a fight and Keith Lee knows he's gonna have to either hit him with that Big Bang catastrophe. And oh, I thought the Big Bang was coming in. I thought the Big Bang was coming in. Off the ropes goes Lee. And up and down and all. Jessica Carr got hit by Keith Lee there. And all, look at this Langston. Just yelling at Jessica to get out of the way. And ladies and gentlemen, I, I can't argue with Lee, uh, with Langston there. But Jessica Carr is just doing her job, making sure that both competitors are able to take it to their respected parts. And oh, no, no, no. He has them up again. Has them up and down he goes. And this could be all she wrote right here. This could be all she wrote. Langston could be looking for the Langston lock. Langston could be looking for the big ending. And oh, what is this? What is this right here? Langston, you could see, was trying to wipe off the sweat. I think he was trying to set himself up for the, for the big ending there. But no, Keith Lee has him in the corner. Lee sends him over. Wait, what is this? What is this? The big man goes for a flying maneuver. One, two, no. There's not many days that you can see that. Biggie Langston didn't know what was coming. Keith Lee landed straight on him. And ladies and gentlemen, this could be it for, for Biggie Langston. Keith Lee. Could be walking away. The victor here tonight. And oh my God. Again drops him on the back. Again drops him on the back. And now Langston. Langston could be in trouble here. This could be a spirit. No. And again Langston has it studied. Has it known that if he gets hit with that spirit bomb. Or the Big Bang catastrophe. It is all she wrote. And now what is this? What is this? Langston just tossing Lee over his head, over the head, belly to belly. They're out of the corner. And ladies and gentlemen, Langston could be looking for the end. Langston could be looking for the Langston. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Belly to belly. No. Able to roll out of it was Langston. Langston. Oh. What a shot. And now Langston again tosses him off the rubs. Catches him. Beautiful scoop slam. And this is what these two need to do. This is what they need to prove to the world. That these are the two best big men in the world here. And Big E looking for the end. Big E could be looking for the end. Big E picks him up. But no, nobody home. Nobody home. Wait a minute. Now. Oh my goodness. One handed spine buster. And that could be it. One, two, no. Not enough just yet. And these two are going back and forth. And you got to ask yourself what does the other man have in store for the other? And all, oh, what is this? What is this? Langston looking. No. I, said, I mean, Lee looking for Langston there, but oh, Langston. Again, Lee going to the outside. Lee knows that this is, this is what he needs to bring to the table. Langston over and under. Lee has him. One, he could pick up the sneaky victory. Two, three, and this could be the biggest outside, but no. And again, oh. Big shot to the back there. Could have been looking for the, oh. The BBC, but nobody home. And oh, Langston. Nobody was home for the Big Bang catastrophe, but somebody's gonna be home for the big ending. One, two, three. You can count to a hundred. Once you get hit with that big ending, it is all she wrote. And look at this, Langston demanding that the spotlight be on him. And ladies and gentlemen, 
What a matchup that was between those two phenomenal competitors. Biggie Langston took everything to Keith Lee here tonight and was able to walk out the victor. But you gotta give all respect to Keith Lee. You gotta give every ounce of respect to the man that was able to take it to Biggie Langston here tonight. And this, look at this, this replay right here. Beautiful spear right into the barricade. And wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm getting... No, 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 Langston has, Langston has Lee in the middle of the ring. Come on, no, he has him in the Langston lock. Come on, get him off of him. And Jessica Carr trying to get Langston to leave Lee alone here. And Langston just pouring on the leg. And this is what happened to Ricochet. And you gotta ask yourself, wait a minute, 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 that's Ricochet's music. And like I said, and wait a minute, Ricochet rocking some new theme music here. And ladies and gentlemen, Ricochet's trying to make his way to down to the ring here. And look, there he is. And like I said earlier, he has to wear a knee brace. And look at Ricochet making his way down to the ring. But Biggie Langston just walks away. And Ricochet helping Keith Lee up to his feet. And you got to ask yourself, what does Ricochet have on his mind? And wait a minute. Oh my goodness! Why Ricochet? Why? And oh come on, that is not, that was not necessary Ricochet. And what did we just witness? Look at his shirt. It says King Ricochet. And ladies and gentlemen, did we see, see the birth of the king here tonight? Because I don't like this guy one bit. I don't like what the king stands for. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricochet just attacking Keith Lee. And I, I'm just flustered. How could you do that to your best friend? How could you do that to the man that possibly saved your career? Because if Biggie Langston would have had his leg locked in any longer, Ricochet would not be here tonight. Ricochet would not be able to continue his, his fight for his passion. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm just flustered and I cannot believe what we just witnessed. But right here, right now, we have, wait, that's Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly in the back. And they're talking about, it's true though, like they are brothers and they're not gonna leave their best friend high and dry. And, and wait a minute, that's, that's Javier and Javier is saying that he was sent to escort those two out of the building and Fish and O'Reilly know that they, they fight back, their jobs are on the line and Bobby Fish is not happy about it and Kyle O'Reilly is, <laughs> Kyle O'Reilly will not stand for this malarkey ladies and gentlemen. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish are being escorted out of the building. As you can see, they were not in street clothes as they were they were sparring with Adam Cole, getting Adam Cole ready for tonight's main event. And ladies and gentlemen, what a main event that is going to be. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a match that could be any main event worthy matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander took Tyler Breeze to the limit a couple weeks back. But then, like I said earlier, that match was brought to a halt when those two men were attacked by a masked vigilante. We are still unable to identify, but right here, right now, we have Cedric Alexander versus Tyler Breeze. Cedric Alexander has not been a man that has many victories here and in your house. But this man, every single time he comes out to the ring, he puts on a phenomenal matchup. He puts on a match of the night contender. As he's been in the ring with Andrei St. Almas, not once, but twice. And each and every time he's took it almost to the limit. To the limit. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Andrade St. Almas. That is our number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. 
he takes Andrade to the limit to the point where Cedric Alexander almost picks up the victory. And that's all you have to think about. If this man can take a man that is the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Champion to the limit, and this man right here to the limit, Cedric Alexander has to be in one of the stars in the making, and he has to be one of the names in the Battle for the Throne tournament. Coming to you next week, we have stage one of the Battle for the Throne tournament. And ladies and gentlemen, as you saw, Daniel Bryan has been put into the tournament. Kurt Angle has been put into the tournament. And ladies and gentlemen, I would assume that the loser of this match would have to be put in the tournament as both men are phenomenal talents and both men are on their quest to become champion. And look at this, Tyler Breeze is one man that has been on a quest as he is 4-0 and only has one tie and that is to the man that he is fighting here tonight. You gotta ask yourself, is Tyler Breeze going to get his first loss here tonight or is this man going to walk away 5-0 and oh, and still the Intercontinental Champion? That is the main question here tonight. Can Tyler Breeze continue or will tonight be the end of the reign and end of the winning streak? And look at Tyler Breeze is holding the IC title, the newly minted IC title over his head there. And this is what this match means to the, both of these competitors. The Intercontinental Championship. And as you can see on the match card right there, that beautifully nicely minted Intercontinental Championship is up for grabs here tonight. And there's a look at Tyler Breeze staring at it, handing it over to Jessica Carr. And this could be the last time that these two men look at the Intercontinental Championship as only one man can walk away with it tonight. Only one man can walk away with the victory here tonight. Is it going to be Tyler Breeze or is it going to be Cedric Alexander? And ladies and gentlemen, we're off to the races here tonight and just look at these two men. And oh, just wipes the dirt off of Cedric there. And many would say that's a sign of disrespect, but that's a sign of respect from Tyler Breeze as Breeze wipes a, a chip off the shoulder saying that tonight they are going to put on a phenomenal matchup no matter what and this is how it starts and this is how it starts look at Cedric Alexander trying to fight Breeze Breeze has to find a way to get out of it and just look at that jumps out of it uses that core strength right there and now look at Cedric Alexander picking him up and oh look at this once again Cedric Alexander sends him off the ropes. And just look at the, oh, beautiful maneuver by, by Cedric and Tyler there. And now Cedric Alexander stops it. Now has him up, Tyler Breeze getting out of the way here. And these men know each other so well, they're going back and forth. And as you can see, this is what it means to be the icy champion around here. And Cedric Alexander wearing his inspired gear of Black Panther rests in peace, Chadwick. As we lost one of one of our own, and ladies and gentlemen, up and down, but no. Cedric Alexander, Cedric Alexander, making Black Panther proud here. Up and down, beautiful maneuver right here. We had a one, but no. And now look at Cedric Alexander bringing it to Tyler Breeze here. And it was, it wasn't able to hit it earlier. And again, not able to hit it this time. Ooh, what a shot right to the jaw there that was by Tyler Breeze. And I got I to gotta say, Breeze, there was no reason to rake the face there. Right in front of a Jessica Carr. And you got to tell, you got to know that Jessica Carr gave him a yelling there. And a white, ooh, it's going to go for a drop kick. You can see right there. He went up high for a drop kick. But... Cedric Alexander was coming too fast, so he modified it into a beautiful head scissors. And that's what that's what kind of champion that Tyler Breeze is. That is what this title means to Breeze. That he's gonna come out here every single night 
and put it on the line. And oh, wait a minute, off the ropes goes, oh, Cedric Alexander, and what a beautiful neck breaker that was. And you want to talk about an amazing champion that Tyler Breeze has been since winning that title against Daniel Bryan at No Mercy. That man, Tyler Breeze, has had his gorgeous open invitational where he's fought anybody willing to put themselves on the line here tonight, or on the line for that Intercontinental Championship. And each and every night he walks out the Intercontinental Champion and walks in the Intercontinental Champion, but a beautiful drop kick. But here tonight, that could be the last time that he holds the Intercontinental Championship around his waist. Wait a minute, Cedric has him capture our suplex right there from Cedric Alexander. Paying homage to the man known as Taz. And what is this? Cedric, ooh, big kick right to the back of the neck there. Just look at this, Cedric Alexander taking each and every body part to its limit. And now Cedric has him up. Cedric looking for a Michinoko driver, but no. Not able to get the Michinoko driver in, but now Breeze. Breeze picks him up. Breeze is looking for, wait a minute, Impeller DDT there. Shouts out to the Rated R Superstar 2. And no, not able to get the 3 just yet. And you got to ask yourself, is Ed smiling at home? And oh, what another head scissors right there. Taking down Cedric Alexander, but follows it up with an elbow this time. And again, Ed not able to compete after having serious neck injuries. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sends Cedric Alexander to the outside. And wait, what is Tyler Breeze looking to do here? Tyler Breeze looking for a big boot, but no, but he's home for Tyler Breeze. And just look at the spine going back first into the, the concrete there. As you can see that the fans are standing on pure concrete here in Philadelphia. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And oh my God. Again, right into that barricade. That barricade, as those things are bolted down. As you can see that they're on the concrete, bolted down. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, big phenomenal forearm. Shades of the World Heavyweight Champion. One, two, this could be a no. Shades of the World Heavyweight Champion, a beautiful neck breaker right there. And Cedric Alexander knows that this is his opportunity, that this is his chance. Cedric has him. DDT! Cedric, beautiful DDT right there, right to the, to the head, and has him up again. And Michinoko Driver, this time able to connect, and this time follows it up with an elbow. And Tyler Breeze looks like he could be in the worst spot right here, but wait a minute, wait a minute, has him up and over! Goes Tyler Breeze and finally gets him in with that beautiful release suplex there. And that release half and half suplex. And now look at Cedric. Alexander could be looking for something big. Alexander Tornado DDT! A maneuver that you see a lot of people try but nobody really is able to do it just as good as this man Cedric Alexander and now Cedric Alexander looking for the end right here could be looking for the oh lumbar check but nobody home drop kick nobody was home got him with that drop kick and now oh but on another chop and now look at this Tyler Breeze wait a minute wait a minute Tyler Tyler, oh, the throat of Cedric Alexander, and you get to see that recoil when he hit that bottom rope there. As I said, those are steel cables, and now look at another clothesline, taking him down, wait a minute, dropped him, super model kick right across the face, and is this over? It could be over, one, two, and three, no. 2.78 right there. 
by Cedric Alexander. Able to get the shoulder up right on time. And now look at this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cedric, I was about to say, Tyler Breeze in control, but Cedric Alexander, Cedric Alexander, super kick of his own. This is whatever you can do, I can do better. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for Clash of Champions. Like I said before, oh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. There is many, there's much more to come. And ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time ever watching in your house, thank you. And go back and watch all the other episodes leading up to Clash of Champions. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Pulling him by the arm, has him in a beautiful elbow right to the chest there. If you're watching the premiere, thank you. Leave a like, comment down below. And oh, Tyler Breeze just drops him down. And comment who you think is going to walk out the Intercontinental Champion. Who you think is going to walk out the, cha the victor of Drew McIntyre and John Cena. And wait a minute, beautiful. Beautiful, Northern Lights one, two, and no. And not able to put him away just yet was the Cedric Alexander. Cedric sends him to the corner and oh, Cedric is looking for the end here. Cedric is calling for the end here and beautiful. And now capitalizes with a phenomenal no. Nobody was home. He got hit with it earlier and Tyler Breeze learned from his mistakes. Now Tyler has him up and down he goes. And what is this? Tyler Breeze. Breeze going up high. Breeze only one way to go and that's down below. Beautiful leg drop across the neck there. Tyler Breeze could be walking away with the victory. One, two, and no. Very reminiscent of Fondango's Las Dance that he would do in the WWE. And ladies and gentlemen, Breeze is looking for something here. Went for the super kick, but no, able to get out of the way, but hit him with a supermodel kick on the, on the way. And oh, look at this. Tyler Breeze just taunting away. And this is... This is why I believe that Breeze doesn't understand what it means to be the champion. If you're going to go and do stuff like that, if you're going to taunt on your opponent when you know you have the match won. The sign of disrespect. Wait a minute, Lariato! A beautiful Lariato from Cedric Alexander. And ladies and gentlemen, that caught me by surprise. Almost choked in my own saliva there. And all Cedric Alexander is looking for the big one. Couldn't fully connect with that clothesline there. But was able to hit enough and this could be it right here. This could be the moment that Cedric Alexander is looking for. And as you see right here, both men worn out because of the amount of speed that this match has been going at. And oh, look at this big hit. Could be looking for the lumbar. No, no lumbar check. No lumbar check, but a big knee to the back of the head, just in case. Now Tyler Brace picks him up. Brace, what is he? Oh, right. The, have you noticed that was the lower of the back hitting the top of that turnbuckle? And that is smart strategy right there. That is that maneuver that, oh, wait a minute, pops him up into the cutter. That is the maneuver. That Cedric Alexander hit Andrade Cien Almas with on the last episode of In Your House. And wait a minute. Turns him around. Could be looking for the... Whoa, nobody home. Caught the super kick, but no! And oh, look at this. Like I said, wipe the chip off the shoulder. Because it's going to be... Oh! Curtains, one, two, three. And Cedric Alexander, not victorious here tonight. 
But Tyler Breeze ending it the way that he begun it. Wiping the chip off the shoulder of Cedric Alexander and then hits him with that beautiful maneuver that is still unknown what he calls it. As you saw last time, he ran his knees right into the, the head, but this time he flipped into it. And ladies and gentlemen, this man Tyler Breeze, he's just phenomenal. Tyler Breeze is going to be Intercontinental Champion. Whoa, 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 the lights. We have a timer on the... Ladies and gentlemen, I have no clue what is going on here. I, I'm just as lost as you guys and... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's that, that's that, that scream we saw last time and... Ladies and gentlemen, the lights came back on. On Tyler Breeze and that we've seen Tyler Breeze in that position before. And oh, the masked man has made his return. And oh my goodness, the masked man. And wait a minute, it's Sean Spears. It's Sean Spears. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Spears has just entered the building. And now Spears, I, I, I'm speechless as Spears, and oh, wait a minute, picks him up. Perfect 10. And oh, look at this, Spears just yelling at Tyler, Bra uh, Tyler Breeze there, saying that this is over and wait what is this what is this spinning clothesline and oh my god and all oh, this is probably what he meant by this is over his time as intercontinental championship is over and ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen what did we just witness Sean Spears just attacked his best friend and that ladies and gentlemen that's two two friends that has broken up a, first we had Ricochet turning on Keith Lee and now we have Sean Spears breaking away from Tyler Breeze and ladies and gentlemen if you do not know the history between those two they own a wrestling academy with each other known as Flatbacks Wrestling at flatbackswrestling.com and ladies and gentlemen I don't know what to say, but ladies and gentlemen, that's Javier. And who is Javier talking to? He's going to have to remove him from the property. And ladies and gentlemen, that can only mean two people. And ladies and gentlemen, it is. It's Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. And the OC does not. Wait a minute, they always have plan F. What do they mean they have plan F? Who is plan F? Party early. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I have no clue what these two are talking about. And speaking of no clue, I have no clue what this woman right here, Shayna Baszler, is doing out here. We saw Shayna Baszler at the Mae Young Classic yelling at Stephanie McMahon that she feels disrespected that she was not entered into the Mae Young Classic. The, the classic where it shows the best female competitors in In Your House Wrestling. And she wasn't a part of it. And honestly, I don't blame Shannon Baszler to, to feel disrespected like that. As Baszler is one of the best talents that we have in this company. Baszler is a woman on a mission. And Baszler is a former MMA star. And to leave out a woman like Shayna Baszler is like leaving out... John Cena is like leaving out your Brock Lesnar. It's like leaving out your Hulk Hogan's. And wait a minute. And again, like I said, the disrespect that she felt. And this is true. That she just let Tessa Blanchard attack Zelina Vega and take her place in the tournament. As I honestly, I'm a huge fan of Tessa Blanchard. 
but I still do not understand how you would not give Shayna Baszler a chance, but you would go and let Tessa Blanchard attack Zelina Vega and take her spot. And ladies and gentlemen, she has an open challenge, and I, I don't know if anybody is willing to get into the ring with Shayna Baszler here tonight. And like I said, this was not on the card. This was not on my roster sheet. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> again, Shayna Baszler just talking. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Vanessa Bourne. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Vanessa Bourne. She works... She worked in NXT, and now Vanessa Bourne is looking to make an impact here and in your house, and look at her. Just look at Bourne. She's a former cheerleader. And just look at Bourne as, as you... I, I don't know what to say. Is, is Bourne smart by doing this? Is Bourne making a very bad choice here by going against Shayna Baszler because you're not going against someone that's will, willing to have a full match. You're going against a woman that is looking to make an impact and ladies and gentlemen, Vanessa Bourne I don't know if you just walked into the lion's den and oh look at this right here. Gets into Shayna's face and Shayna, oh Shayna kicks her in the gut and oh my god and it's all she wrote. Look at this beautiful Transition into the Carafuda clutch here. Nowhere to go, Born. Nowhere to go. And, and she's yelling that she gives up, and now she's just tapping. And you guys just see she's slowly tapping as she is giving up, and the life is going out of Vanessa Born. And finally, Jessica Carr trying to tear apart those two and finally able to get Born out of it. But, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know if that was a match. That was more like a massacre. And that was a statement right to Stephanie McMahon. But ladies and gentlemen, that's Ricochet. Is, again, we see Ricochet go into his locker room. And they're going to start their takeover. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no clue what they're talking about, what takeover they're talking about. But right here, right now, we have Drew McIntyre trying to take over the business as he is going against this man and this man again poor Johnny boy this gets booed and cheered out of the building like there is no tomorrow but that's what makes him the franchise player that's what makes John Cena John Cena as nobody else can do what John Cena does and get these fans as riled up as John Cena does because you never give up As John Cena says, never give up, never back down. You don't get respect, you earn it. And here tonight, he's going to make sure that Drew McIntyre knows that. That he knows that John Cena is not going to go down without a fight. That John Cena is going to be victorious at all means. And if he does not walk away victorious, that John Cena is going to put everything on the line here tonight. And you've got to ask yourself over and over again, what is it going to take to put John Cena down? What is it going to take for Drew McIntyre to put an end to John Cena? As John Cena is on a mission, as Drew McIntyre cost him a chance to be a Grand Slam champion. The one title that has eluded John Cena his whole career, the Intercontinental Championship. John Cena had a chance to finally hold it, to finally be Intercontinental Champion. But Drew McIntyre said, not today. And Drew McIntyre laid waste to the man that is John Cena and look at this man Drew McIntyre is looking to put an end to each and every person here tonight and 
Drew McIntyre knows that it's gonna take more than one Claymore. It's gonna take more than one Future Shock. It is going to take everything in his arsenal to put down the man known as John Cena. And this man right here put down Kurt Angle a couple weeks ago. And that man put down Kurt Angle with the greatest of ease as it was a phenomenal matchup. But you want to talk about making a statement. This man Drew McIntyre knows that here tonight if he is able to take down the franchise player, he is next in line for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Drew McIntyre knows that that can only happen if he can shut the mouth of a man that is a part-timer. And look at John, look at John, John Cena, Drew McIntyre, the bell has rung and these two are now just staring eye to eye. And oh, oh! And now look at this, McIntyre sends Cena, but no, Cena! Big kick to the gut there. Cena off the rope, beautiful, oh! Was going for the shoulder block, and these two know each other so well, and you can hear the fans here in Philadelphia love John Cena, but a scorpion death drop to put him down. And again, Drew McIntyre knows that this is the opportunity that he needs to take. This is what he needs to do in order to put a, an end to John Cena. This is what he needs to do in order to put an end to the legacy that John Cena has created. He needs to put an end to everything in John Cena's resume. And oof, John Cena knows that this is his chance to get back into winning ways. That this is John Cena's chance to get an opportunity at the IC title, to get an opportunity at the World's Heavyweight Championship, to become a 16-time World's Heavyweight Championship, actually 17-time, and to defeat Ric Flair's record and beautiful Russian leg sweep by John Cena, or by Drew McIntyre onto John Cena there. And we have Jessica Carr again here tonight officiating another one of these matchups that is going to be and oh my god oh my god just a look at Drew and Jessica Carr telling Drew to, that he has a five count and Drew knows Drew knows that he has a five count he's going to take every single one of those seconds and now look at Drew and I'll look at that the disrespect of Drew telling Jessica Carr not to tell him what to do that he knows the rules Drew McIntyre, beautiful suplex, but no, John Cena able to get out of the way there with a beautiful suplex of his own. He dropped the hips just to pop him over. And now look at this. This is what Cena is all about here. This is what Cena is all about. And wait a minute, Cena off the rope, beautiful. That was like a stunner off the second rope there. A maneuver that John Cena has added to his arsenal. We got a one, and no, oh, not even a one count. John Cena not able to get a one over Drew McIntyre just yet. And McIntyre knows. McIntyre knows what he's going to have to do. And oh, big kick to the gut, and oh, drops him over. But we have a real question. Who is the person that is talking to Ricochet about this empire? Who is the man behind the king and ladies and gentlemen if you're watching this in the premiere please leave it in the chat who do you think is the man talking to King Ricochet behind the scenes and oh what a stomp right to the face there and look at this McIntyre has Cena on the shoulders and oh I think he was going for an AA there but as you saw, Cena able to slip out of the way. And now Cena, wait a minute, what is this? Has him over and under. Beautiful. That's a cold blue there. One, two, and no, not able to get a three, but is able to get a 2.9 there. And now John Cena finds himself on the end of two beautiful shots there and a third by Drew McIntyre. Now McIntyre. Just taking it. 
to Cena here. And look at this. Cena, McIntyre. This is what it means. And look at this. McIntyre just shoves John Cena back in the ring. He knows that he needs to end this match in the middle of that squared circle in order to, to send the impact that he needs. And again, Cena able to find a way out of this and this time able to connect with that shoulder block. But as you saw, Drew McIntyre's shoulder bouncing off of that bottom rope there. And that is gonna hurt the shoulder blade even more. And a beautiful lariat. That short arm lariat. It doesn't look effective, but you gotta think you're fully running into a man. It's an arm there and beautiful. Michinoko one. Two points, no, just the two there. McIntyre able to get roll the shoulder over to be able to kick out there. And now John Cena knows that he's going to have to throw everything at McIntyre here. McIntyre sends Cena to the outside. And wait, what is this? Has him up and look at that beautiful strength of Drew McIntyre. And Drew is looking to put him away here. Drew is looking to put him away. And oh, kick to the gut could be looking for it. Oh, turned it around into a power bomb, but no. I thought he was looking to put him away. And oh, look at that. Was going for the AA, but nowhere. Nowhere, but Drew rolled out of the ring. That is the ring awareness of Drew McIntyre. And now John Cena saying, whatever you can do, I can do better. Beautiful suplex to the inside by John Cena. And now Johnny Boy, oh, big hit to the face. And another. And just look at this, John Cena just whirling in with those punches. And another one. Again, look at John Cena. And this is what this match means to Cena. This is what this match means for John Cena, but no. Nobody home. Drew McIntyre could be looking for Claymore, but no, just drops him into the mat with a beautiful running shoulder block. And oof, what a shot. And another one turning Cena's clock inside out. And now look at McIntyre. Oof, again. Wait a minute. Oh, McIntyre, you can see. Might have a little bit of wear and tear here. And wait a minute, wait a minute. We've seen him do this against Angle and oh! We saw him do that against Angle. And now McIntyre saying that this is the end. Picks him up, has him down with the Scott drop. Head into the mat, one, two, no. Not able to get the three just yet, but you gotta ask yourself, what does John Cena have left in the tank? Went for a clothesline, but no, ooh! Nice, that was like a modified rock bottom. We saw Roman Reigns send a message to his, his brother and the wife family. You gotta look at Cena now. Cena has had so many matches with Dwayne that, ooh! That it, ooh my goodness, again with a shot that he started to add those maneuvers to his arsenal and what a beautiful, beautiful float over right there. And oh no, John Cena off the ropes, gonna look for the five knuckle shuffle. And ladies and gentlemen, John Cena could be looking for the end here. John Cena could be looking to put away Drew McIntyre, John Cena, no. And just look at this, McIntyre has him. McIntyre just tosses John Cena. And that is not a small man. John Cena is not a small man. That just shows you the strength that Drew has in him. It just shows you the, oh my goodness, strength that Drew McIntyre possesses. And now Drew McIntyre, McIntyre looking for that. Oh, wait a minute. I think he's going to go for the, I thought he's going to go for the, oh, a DDT, but no. Not able to land in the future shot, but this time Drew rolling out to the middle, oh, to the outside and all. Oh, what is Cena looking to do here? 
What is Cena looking to do here? John Cena to the outside. And now John Cena looking to put away Drew McIntyre. You know, look at the Jessica Carr. Telling Cena that he needs to end, he needs to stop this. He needs to keep it in the middle of the ring. And all Cena showing off the strength here. Going for an attitude adjustment, but nobody home. Nobody home. And now Drew. Oh, Drew is looking for the Claymore. Wasn't able to hit it last week, but this time able to connect with it flush. No. Drew usually follows up that Claymore with that future shock, and he could be looking for that future shock. DDT right here tonight, but no. Cena, oh, has some fight left in him. Cena picks him up. Cena middle of the ring. A, A. One, two, three, no. Cena, Cena can't believe it. Drew McIntyre just kicked out of the AA right there. Now Cena's feeling it. Cena, big move, that shoulder block, and another one. And wait a minute, wait a minute, ducks it over, up and down goes McIntyre. Oh, I think he was going for the, attitude, uh, the five knuckle shuffle, but nobody was home. But Drew McIntyre turned him inside out with that clothesline. And now McIntyre yelling at Cena. Big chop and another one and oh oh my goodness is lighting the chest of Cena here lighting the chest and now lighting the kidney and this is how John Cena ooh this is the exactly what John Cena doesn't want to be this is where Cena needs to look out for and now look at this Drew McIntyre oh my goodness what a suplex. And now look at it. Jessica Carr has to ch check in on John Cena here. As you saw John Cena landed straight on those ribs. And he could have injured those ribs. He could have injured those ribs. And now Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre just staring at Cena. McIntyre saying, is this all you have? And now so oh, McIntyre was going for the Glasgow kiss. But nobody was home. Was Cena playing possum? Was Cena playing possum? Cena, oh my goodness. Not many men can do that with a beautiful hip toss. And now, gonna hit him with that five knuckle shuffle. And like I said, both men are gonna throw everything on the line here tonight. They're gonna put everything on because it is. this is not just a match for victories. This is a match to cement your legacy as the best ever you know John Cena has I'm gonna go for oh he was gonna go for the AA there but no Drew McIntyre shifted the weight to land over the shoulder instead of on the shoulders and that is what Drew McIntyre is known for that is what John Cena needs to look out for Drew McIntyre the bigger man of the two wait what is this no oh my god I caught him there I think John thought that McIntyre was gonna come in for a stinger splash, but nobody was home. Caught him with, in the kick to the ribs. And now, now he's looking to put away Cena. Now he's looking to put him away for good. Second Claymore. And earlier, like I said, he loves to follow it up with a future shock, Didi. T one, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the age of Drew McIntyre. And as look at this matchup right here. Oof, not able to get the three. And look at this right here. That able to toss him 
into the middle of the ring, and that is smart. That was ring awareness. He felt like he wasn't going to be close enough. He was going to be close to the ropes there. Moved them, but the, ooh, just right on the dome. And ladies and gentlemen, that man right there, Drew McIntyre, just put on one hell of a matchup and put the franchise player out for good. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just the beginning on Drew's path to the title. So you gotta ask yourself, what is next for Drew? And ladies and gentlemen, I am getting word that Drew McIntyre is gonna be entered into the battle for the throne tournament. And Drew McIntyre still doesn't know, but ladies and gentlemen, Bray Wyatt. Time's up, Dream, and I'm waiting. And Drew, Velveteen Dream and Bray Wyatt have that Firefly Funhouse match. And ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to see what is going to conspire in the middle of that matchup. But ladies and gentlemen, I am going to kick it off to the Firefly Funhouse match. And we will see you for our main event where it will be Adam Cole, Andre San Almas, and AJ Styles. See you there, ladies and gentlemen.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I have no clue what we just saw. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't know who the other masked man was, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you to Nine Lashes for Never Back Down, the Clash of Champions theme here tonight. If you have not listened to it, give it a full listen. It is a great soundtrack. But ladies and gentlemen, here tonight, we are not just about soundtracks. We are not just about crazy, methodical things happening in some fun houses. We are here to watch phenomenal wrestling, and that is no pun included. As you will see, Adam Cole, Andrade San Almas, and AJ Styles have added in a triple threat match to crown the WWE Champion. And ladies and gentlemen, Andrade Cien Almas has been on the hunt for that title. Adam Cole has made a statement for that title. And AJ Styles is your world's heavyweight champion. And what a match that was versus Seth Rollins at no mercy when they went one-on-one -on -one in a steel cage match. But ladies and gentlemen, this man right here, Andrade Cien Almas. And Andrade knew that this was his opportunity. He knew that this was the only way that he can make things happen, is if he puts his foot down. And here tonight, he told Zelina Vega to stay in the back. He told Zelina Vega that he has this. As you can see, he is 4-0. Just like Tyler Breeze, who is now 5-0, but could Andrade make it 5-0 as well here tonight and become the World Heavyweight Champion? We have not seen anybody other than him and Tyler Breeze be undefeated here at 4-0. As those two are the only two competitors that have high enough. So technically right now, Tyler Breeze has the highest, has the highest win rate here and in your house wrestling and if you ask yourself who does this match better qualify is it Andrade Cien Almas is it Adam Cole or is it AJ Styles and ladies and gentlemen I honestly can't tell you because it is each man has a 33.33 percent chance of walking out the winner here tonight each man has a chance to be World Heavyweight Champion. But if you really want to talk about getting yourself into a match the sneaky way, you have to talk about this man right here. Adam Cole of the Undisputed Era. The man that made it all happen. The man that manipulated his way for a chance at the gold. And as you can see on his shirt, he already thinks that he is the champion as it says, gold, baby, gold. And ladies and gentlemen, can he be holding gold after tonight? Will Adam Cole be your new world heavyweight champion after tonight? Can Adam Cole sneak his way to a victory here tonight? Or will Adam Cole finally Get his mouth shut. And ladies and gentlemen, like I said earlier, and as you guys saw earlier, Ric Flair has made sure that he got all four members of both the Undisputed Era and the OC. And you can just see the fans here in Philly love Adam Cole. As I was saying before that, he has made sure that he got Kyle O'Reilly, he got Bobby Fish, he got Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson out of the arena before this matchup to ensure that there would be no interference and that nobody gets involved in tonight's triple threat main event. But you gotta ask yourself, does that mean that he does not have anybody watching over this matchup to ensure that those four people do not come back into the building? I know he has Javier and the rest of the security backstage, but is that enough to keep anybody out? As you heard, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson say that they have a plan F. And what is that plan F? What could it be? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to wait to see what plan F is if it comes down to it. But here tonight, 
It is all about that World Heavyweight Championship. And as you can see, AJ Styles is not rocking big gold. AJ Styles is rocking the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship after the, the undisputed era tagged up NWO style the UE initials into big gold and we were trying to get it out but they encarved it. They not only spray painted but encarved UE into big gold and so now we have this World Heavyweight Championship and ladies and gentlemen I gotta say she is a beaut and just look at her she is beautiful she is phenomenal and that is the World Heavyweight Championship right there and ladies and gentlemen, Jessica Carr holding it above her head. And ladies and gentlemen, here tonight, only one man can walk away and call himself the World Heavyweight Champion. Will it be Andres Inelmas? Will it be AJ Salazar? Will it be that man right there, Adam Cole? And look at that right there. Adam Cole just walks out of the ring and he knows that he doesn't need to get involved yet. He knows that if he lets these two go at it, that they're going to put everything on the line here early and take each other out and possibly give Adam Cole that opportunity. And you get to see Adam right there at the bottom of the screen, the disrespectfulness that Adam Cole has. It's like, you know that it's smart, but yet you, can, you, cannot, you cannot fault him for it. Oh, look at this, Adam Cole. Andrade working on AJ Styles and look at this Adam Cole just sneaks in and a super kick to the back of the head there and now Adam sends Styles to the corner a big forearm to take him down turns around and now Andrade caught him with a beautiful standing drop kick and now look at this Andrade wants to get his hands on Adam Cole Andrade wants to get his hands on Cole as Andrade wasn't involved in the reasoning that Adam Cole got into this matchup. It was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one with Andrade and, and AJ Styles, but Adam Cole snuck his way into the matchup, snuck his way into the matchup and caused Andrade that one-on-one -on -one opportunity that he was supposed to have. And now look at AJ Styles from the outside in. And you gotta think that is fuming at the, the veins of Andrade San Almas and now Adam Cole just taking it to Styles here. Cole super kick. Adam Cole throws those super kicks like a man that we know very well known as Shawn Michaels. And now wait a minute, what is Cole looking for? Oh, what a neck breaker by Cole there. Now look at again Andrade right on Cole. Andrade right on Cole. And now look at this Andrade picks him up and drops him down across the ring. Oh. And now look at that, AJ Styles. And wait, what is Styles looking to do here? Styles has him up and oh my goodness. And oh, Cole just swung his arm, catching Styles on the back of the head and a super kick right across the jaw there. And this is what it means to be World Heavyweight Champion to these three men. This is what it means to hold Big gold around the waist and Andrade up to his feet. Andrade using the same type of, oh my God, strategy as Adam Cole here. And now, oh, Adam Cole now got caught slipping. Adam Cole got caught slipping. And now look at Andrade running off the ropes here and catches him right with that kick right across the head. And oh, Adam Cole. The ring awareness of Adam Cole there, and oh, Andrade caught him. Andrade caught him, barely, but caught him. And now AJ Styles is getting to his feet. AJ Styles is getting to his feet here, and now Andrade again, catapulting himself over the ropes there. And now Andrade, oh. And Andrade sees Adam Cole there, and Andrade, look at this, Andrade getting some speed, and oh my goodness! And again, Andrade Cien Almas making a statement here, wait a minute, AJ Styles! And oh, went to kick Adam Cole, but oh no, Cole kicks AJ, 
And now Cole, oh, big forearm, straight to Andrade, and oh, snap suplex. And ladies and gentlemen, these three going at it with the greatest of these here. And these three, wait a minute, big kick right to the abdomen of AJ Styles here. Oh, and look at, oh my goodness. And AJ and Cole don't even notice that Andrade is up. And Andrade, this is smart. Andrade is saying, I'm not getting involved in this. This is your guys' work. And a beautiful right there. Taking the opportunity and is laying out Cole, but now look at Styles and Styles and oh, Andrade now going at it. And oh, what a forearm that was. A jumping forearm and almost hit himself on, on the ring. And now look at this, getting Adam Cole in the middle of the ring here. And this is smart. This is what AJ Styles needs to do, but wait a minute, Andrade. And now look at this, Andrade waiting for Cole. Andrade waiting for Cole. And now Andrade just stalking Cole. Cole getting to his feet there. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, caught him there. Wait a minute, and oh, look at this. I don't think he saw AJ Styles. I don't think he saw AJ Styles. And oh, what an end to Gyuri. That into Gary and now beautiful maneuver from the inside out. And now AJ Styles is looking to put this match to rest. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Has him up and then oh drops the ribs instead of the back. And now look at now look at Andrade. Look at Andrade. Oh my god, a stiff forearms. Another one. What is this? Caught him with the common Gyuri. And now look at this. Andrade running in. Beautiful head scissors. That Lucha Libre type style there. And now this is where Andrade not seen Almas. This is where he gets pumped up. And oof. Run right into that. The corner post. No, not again, not again, not again. And now look at Andrade. Andrade knows that this is his opportunity. Andrade knows that this is his opportunity. And wait a minute, again, Styles forced the plan. Uh, Styles forced the plan, and now look at him. He has him in the calf killer, the calf crusher. And oh my goodness. And oh, let's go, because they're on the outside. But has the damage been done? Has the damage been done? It, it's Styles. Adam Cole from the top. Rope drops a bionic elbow, shots out to Dusty Rhodes. And ladies and gentlemen, is this it? Could this be it for AJ Styles in his World's Heavyweight Championship run? And wait a minute, AJ Styles. Oh, Adam Cole. Beautiful maneuver. And oh, look at that. Just jumps in. That is super smart there by Andrade. And look at this, Andrade. Is trying to get the blood flowing. Is trying to get the adrenaline running. This is what Andrade needs to do to get the match won. This is what Andrade needs to do to get the match won. And oh, Andrade pops up and a beautiful forearm. And now going for a bulldog, but nobody home for Andrade. Adam Cole picks up Andrade. Ooh, what a super kick to the gut. And now takes out the leg. And now, oh my God, another one. My goodness. Is this over? One, two, no. AJ there to break it up. And you got to ask yourself, what is it going to take to take the other man down? And now Styles standing in the middle of the ring and oh look at this Andrade Cien Almas Andrade Cien Almas and wait a minute wait a minute Styles was going for the for the oh oh my goodness and look at this right here and look at this right here has him nowhere to go he's gonna need to tap out he has that leg. oh he had that arm and oof. He's going, go, he going for that neck breaker. And all talking about neck breakers. He's going for that patella drop on that. Oh, on the knee. 
but nobody was home. And oh, look at this. This is a thing of beauty right here. The somersault kick right to the back of the head of Adam Cole. But oh, look at AJ Styles rocking, rocking him. Caught him right there. Now look at Styles. Wait a minute, Styles. Oh! Style, ooh, kick to the gut. Styles, kick to the gut, and now beautiful, caught him out to dry there. And now AJ Styles, AJ Styles, wait a minute, oh! Caught him with a super kick from the outside in. Very reminiscent of, oh! Shawn Michaels, Selton, Benjamin, one, two, no. And oh, look at this Andrade back to his feet. And I don't think Andrade saw what happened there. And I don't think Adam Cole sees what's behind him here. Wait a minute, it has him rolled over. AJ Styles is getting up. Could this be at one, two, no. Not enough yet for these three men. And look at this, these men taking it to one another. AJ Styles has him up and down with that neck breaker. And oh, wait a minute, AJ Styles. Oh, there goes Adam. Adam takes out AJ. And oh, no, 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 no. Adam Cole could be your new world's heavyweight champion. Adam Cole went for the clothesline, but caught him, but wait a minute, drops him instead. One, two, three. oh no. Just a two. Adam Cole not able to put Andrade out for the count. And oh, look at this. AJ Styles. Styles. Styles catches him right on the back there. And oh, look at this. Styles knows that this is the opportunity that he needs to take. AJ Styles going for something big here. AJ Styles. No, oh my God. Lands right on the knees. But wait a minute. Oh, lands right on his back. And again, the somersault kick incoming. Is that gonna connect? No! Cole got out of the way this time. And oh, what a shot. Taking him to his knees. And now a big punch. And now Adam Cole is in the middle of the ring and you can hear the fans were saying, Adam Cole, baby. And wait a minute, AJ Styles. Oh, phenomenal. Forearm. Both men were out. Phenomenal forearm rolls a leg. One, two, Andrade was there to break it up. My goodness. Now, oh, big kick to the gut from, from AJ Styles. And another forearm, and another one, and another one, and a big forearm, and a phenomenal blitz. Ooh, a form of his own. Oh, some slaps. The disrespect, and look at that. Jumping over at Andrade. And ooh, what a beautiful drop kick that was. And again, we just left the two. And again, hey, Adam Cole looks to put away. Andrade up and down. Patella brain buster. Is it over? One, two, three, no. Still not enough. And I think Andrade is just fighting on instinct here. I think Andrade is just fighting on instinct. Shoots his shot, kick, last shot. And oh, wait a minute, AJ Styles, big chop. Big Chop has him up. Ushigoroshi. Ushigoroshi. Is it over? One, two, th no. 2.99 and you can see it on Andrade's face here. That was it. That was gonna be it, that last shot. But there was, he just took too much time to capitalize and wait a minute. 
Andrade. Andrade. Oh. Oh my goodness. And again, AJ Styles rolls to the outside. And now Andrade looks like he might be the one with the victory. Beautiful moonsault. But no way to cap himself on the feet. Has him over. One. Two. And no, that has become signature Andrade Cien Almas. And a beautiful drop kick right to the back of the head. This is where Andrade needs to find that last gear. This is where he needs to find gear three. And Andrade. Oh, but this is where Andrade. This is where Andrade messes up. And oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. DDT. Hammerlock DDT. AJ Styles. Styles is in the ring to break it up there, though. Styles. Almas. Face to face. And oh, look at this. Look at the stare. And oh, went for a farm, but no, nobody home. Big elbow, but no, nobody home. Sends him to the corner. Oh, big kick to, to Cole there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Has him up. Ushi Goroshi, no. Cole, though. Wait, Cole sends. Styles on top of Amos. And oh, Cole sending for the end. Cole sends, wait a minute, Styles and oh! AJ Styles. And oh, this could be it right here. Amos is, Amos is on spaghetti, no! I was about to say Amos on spaghetti legs. Brock Lesnar, German suplex. A Brock Lesnar type German suplex there from Andrade. And just look at these men, they're tired, they're worn out. And ladies and gentlemen, what is it gonna take? And oop, brings them out to dry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Lariato! Andrade rolls out of the ring. This could be it. And you can hear the fans riling up. This could be it right here. Adam Cole, AJ Styles. That's Roderick Strong. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh my God. God! The knees right to the back and AJ Styles is out for the count. Whoa, 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 that's Edge! That's Edge! What is Edge doing here? This is a backup that they must have been talking about. This is the backup that Ric Flair must have had in order to make sure that nobody got involved. And ladies and gentlemen, I thought the match was end there. I thought it was all she wrote. End of no, RK! Oh, my God! And Randy Orton and Edge, rated RKO, have just made a statement taking out the undisputed era. AJ Styles is just, he's breathing hard, breathing heavy, and oh no. Now it's just down to a one-on-one. -on -one. And Andrade, oh my God, just looking and putting all that weight onto the chest. And honestly, Honestly, I don't think Adam Cole has anything left. Adam Cole is probably out for the count. Andrade is just working on pure adrenaline here. Oh, I think he was going to go for the hammerlock. Couldn't get it in. So, I, ooh, beautiful. Went for a schoolboy. Couldn't get it in, but dropped him into this power bomb. And no, not able to get the three. Not able to put him away. And now he's looking for the summer salt plancha kick. No! 
right on the temple. We could be looking at a new world's heavyweight champion in Andrade Cien Almas. Oh my God. That's Finn Balor. That's who Plan F was. That's who Plan F was. Up and down with the bloody Sunday. The Prince just dropped Andrade. No, 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 not like this. The Prince just dropped Andrade. And now AJ Styles, phenomenal forearm. And you can see Finn Balor in the corner there. And that's very, very symbolistic of how this match is going to end. No, no, no. Ball oh, Styles clash. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, AJ Styles is still your world's heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, what a main event for Clash of Champions that was. AJ Styles still reigns supreme. AJ Styles is still the top of the food chain. And this is still the house that AJ Styles built. And just look at this man right here, AJ Styles. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what else to say other than we are still in the reign of AJ Styles. And with Finn Balor and the club at his side, who is going to stop him? Thank you for watching Clash of Champions. And we will see you on the next episode of In Your House.